Hey everybody. Today we're doing calculations in the Poisson distribution using R. Remember, the Poisson distribution models the number of times some randomly occurring event takes place in a specified interval. For instance, calls to a customer service line or accidents along a busy stretch of highway in an hour. A Poisson distribution is completely specified by a single parameter, lambda, the mean number of occurrences in an interval. I have an entire video on the Poisson distribution. I'll throw a link up top. It's probably a good idea to watch that before you really go through this one in depth. When you're doing the Poisson distribution in R, there are four basic functions that you're going to want to know. First off is R plus, which is going to generate random values in a Poisson distribution. The two arguments you need to feed it are n and lambda. Lambda, of course, is the mean number of occurrences in, in, in an interval and n is just the number of random values that you want generated. So r plus 10 comma 6 gives you 10 random values in the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6. Next, d plus. Here we're computing probabilities of getting exactly a certain, any certain number of occurrences in a specified interval. As usual, you can specify a vector for the number of occurrences and get multiple answers at once. So for instance, d plus 0 colon 3 comma 6 computes the probability of getting exactly 0, 1, 2, and 3 occurrences in the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6. Next, p plus. This is a cumulative distribution function. It returns the probability of getting at most x occurrences in a single interval. So for instance, p plus 0 colon 3 comma 6 gives you the probability of at most zero occurrences, at most one occurrences, one occurrence, two, and three occurrences in the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals six. Finally, q plus. This is a, a, an inverse distribution function. It's going to compute quantiles. More specifically, q plus p comma lambda returns the smallest integer x such that p plus q comma lambda is greater than or equal to p. For instance, q plus 0.7 comma 6 is going to return the smallest x value whose cumulative probability in the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6 is at least 0.7. Um, it returns 7, and we can verify that this answer makes sense by doing p plus of 6 and 7 in that same Poisson distribution. And we see that the cumulative probability of getting um, at most six successes is less than 0.7, but the cumulative probability of getting um, at most seven successes is more than 0.7. Okay, let's do a few examples. In each case, we're going to consider the same situation. Calls to a customer service line that come in at an average rate of six every five minutes. We're going to be dealing with the same interval of time throughout this question, five minutes, so here we're dealing with a lambda equals six throughout. First of all, what's the probability of getting exactly four calls in a five minute period and the probability of getting at least four calls in that period? Okay, so let's swap over to R. Here we go. I've called up the help file using question mark D plus, question mark P plus or R plus or Q plus would pull up the same thing. And you can read through that at your leisure. You'll see there's a couple extra arguments that are optional here. Um, they come up occasionally, not as frequently, so I'm not going to go through them here. Okay, so we're in a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6, and the first thing we want is the probability of getting exactly four successes. So that's a D plus. Exactly four successes in a distribution with lambda equals 6, a Poisson distribution with lambda equals 6. So it's just over 13%. Next, we want to know um, at least four successes. So this is going to be the complement of the event where we have at most three. So we're going to do a complement with a one minus, and then at most three successes using p plus um, three comma six. So that's at most three successes in this distribution. And it's just under 85% this time. Next, construct a probability histogram for the number of calls to the line in a given five minute period. Okay, so the number of calls that come in that could come into that line is could be potentially as high as you like, but at a certain point the probabilities are going to become infinitesimal. 
So um, in order to just show a graph with a finite x-axis, I'm going to only consider values of x between 0 and, I don't know, let's say 15. I think that'll give us a, uh, a good upper limit for our x values. Next, let's get the probabilities. So we'll assign a vector using dpoise, and we'll get probabilities for each of those x values in that same Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6. And we can just take a look at that vector if we like. There we go. OK, so let's get a probability histogram for this. I want to do it using tidyverse. And just to be um, quick about it, I'm going to use the qplot function. So let's do library tidyverse. If you haven't already installed the tidyverse family of functions, you should do that first with install.packages parenthesis quote tidyverse. Um, the function we want to use here is qplot. We'll put the x values, obviously, on the x-axis. We will weight them each by their probabilities, so probs. We will make sure that we get a histogram. If we don't specify a number of bins, then R is going to default to 30 bins, which will give us a, um, a histogram that will not look appropriate. Let's make sure that we have uh, bins equal the length of x. So we have this time 16 values for x. So we will do 16 bins. Finally, let's put a little bit of boundary color on these, um, on these bars so that we can tell them apart. I'll just do black. And that should give us a reasonable looking um, probability histogram. And there we go. If you look, you can see that it has a slight right skew, although it does have a generally bell shape. In the limit, Poisson distributions are approximated by the normal distribution just as you would expect. So that general bell shape is not particularly surprising here. But definitely notice the right skew. That's also characteristic of a Poisson distribution. Finally, let's simulate the number of calls to this line in 50 such periods. So we're going to want to generate random values in the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equals 6. This is going to be the rpos function. So R, P-O-I-S, we want 50 random values in the Poisson distribution with parameter 6. There we go. Okay, so that's the, base, the, that's the basics of the Poisson distribution in R.